This show is part of the Do You Validate Network. It's Saturday morning somewhere, kids, so you know what that means. It's time to go dent cans in the grocery store and switch out expiration dates so we can commit some retail theft on the astonishing adventures of the SS Bad Ship. Welcome to the astonishing adventures of the SS Bad Ship. <laughs> Welcome to Bad Ship. We'd like to say how do you do? Jet Set Radio. The galaxy's third best scam. And over half of his jewelry is real. Soraya. The smooth talking politician. With a good deal of sex appeal. Or a clerical translation robot. And he's always down to switch up the vibe. Barry. He's not imaginary. Completely real with nothing to hide. Don't forget Dill. I'm pretty sure he already has. That's right. He's a four on pink scale alien that doesn't remember anything, you see. He's even misplaced the ship's keys. Welcome to Magic. sit back and enjoy the when we last left our crew, Dill unknowingly put the coordinates in to head down to the planet Herbs, where Soraya is actually from. Will she be able to use her connections on this planet to get what we need, or will she fuck people and spread the tree around more? Well, only you can find out in episode 18, Bleach. You're from Herbs. Do we know where you would go in the city for medical supplies or fuel or We'd kill third her. thing? Do you have anything <laughs> planned for that? Or can I just make this so shit you, up as I go? I was going to say, so you, uh, the, you are from a town uh, called Twilight Peak. It is one of the, it's one of the nicer places. It is kind of think like Cloud City style. Uh, it is like up, uh, some of the buildings are tall enough to where they do go into the atmosphere above like the cloud line. But that is, that is like your, your hometown that you're from and you would have the most connections there. It is a very prosperous, I mean, every, every city here is very prosperous, but you are from Twilight Twilight Peak, so that would be a good place for you to go. And you could get any and everything that you need for the ship, for the list, as well as almost anything you can think imaginable under the sun. But you all do have to keep in mind, you, you are in a, in a system that is heavily like under the hegemonic control. So this there's a lot more scrutiny here. There's going to be a lot more... I mean, we're, It's cops. There's just a lot more cops. It's not great. Uh, but that is but that is where you could go. Uh, but you, you, would ha you will have... A lot of connections here. There are going to be some people not happy to see you, but there's definitely going to be a lot of people that are happy to see you. And also, you can just kind of make up whatever you want for like who who you know and things like that. Because this is way more of 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 you know uh, of your speed for here. Uh, it is. I don't really think that Barry would know anyone here. Jet, you might know some people that would be around, but they. I'm going to assume would be mad at you. Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Dill puts in the coordinates. Y'all make your way to Herbs, and, you know, you are able to give... Uh, you, you know enough people where you can give some, some fake codes and stuff like that to be able to dock safely. There's a ship bay in the atmosphere for the bad ship itself, and you can take a shuttle into the actual city of Twilight Peak uh, as you can go in and um, what's... And Dill, Dill does say that he'll stay behind. He hands you uh, a, a shopping list as well. Hey, 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 Dill. Yeah, what's going can, on? Can, can you program the ship to land for us? None of us can fly. And I don't I don't want Jet Set to try again. I don't know. Jet, to try again. I mean, how, <laughs> how would I know how to program the ship to... I just, this is a wild thought. Maybe That's... he would... Uh, uh, Dill? Yeah, what's going on here? I can take that off your hands. Dill, <laughs> Dill, don't listen to I... Jet. How about this? Listen to Jet. Don't listen to Jet. Listen to Jet. How about this? Let's flip a coin for God it. God damn it. Well, okay, flipping a coin. What does that entail? Uh, don't worry. I got... Uh, would you want me to do it or you want to do it? You... D uh, yes, you do it. Okay. I'll hand him my coin. Yeah, and, and then he flips it. What does it land on? Heads. He goes, I got heads. What does that mean? You lose. Ah! Oh, damn. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't that's, think that's what that's... Okay. That's rough. That's the kind of luck I wait, got, though. Wait, will, will this ship explode if I fail this? pilot check 
<laughs> yes. Who are you asking right now? Dill. Are you asking Dill or me as a GM? Uh, you as outside uh, of game. I'm not going <laughs> to cover your microphone. You people need to... not, sorry, I'm not going to blow this you're up. Just, right? You're still yeah. covering your microphone. I mean, I'll say this. I'll say this. this is not covering it if half of it is showing. On, this is a lot... I, I, this is a lot easier of a landing thing. Like we're in like a real city. Yeah. Y'all were like just kind of going into Novus. Uh, you're going to an area that was like not highly populated. There's no like docking. Like that's what I thought. You could yeah. pr you could pretty much just make your way in there. I was gonna make Dill do this, but oh, you won. The, but you no. did win the coin. I, jet, jet, you jet. did win the coin flip. Look at let Dill do this it. is a heavily populated area. I don't. I do I not don't. want to go to jail for, <laughs> yeah, it's like if the cops see you swerve out of the lane a little too I, much. I'm, I'm less worried <laughs> about a swerving and more of you of you uh, unhoming people. There, there are a lot of houses next but to Dill, the But Dill spaceship. does look, he goes, I did, I did lose the torn cost, the, the, torn, uh, the corn flip. Uh, and that means you have to lay in the ship. I would. I don't. I don't really know how I would do it. Like I don't even know if there's like a button to hit or if there's anything like that. Like any kind of autopilot feature. As once again, he is just, you know, programming on the outside of the ship, uh, and then you just hear the ship go autopilot engage. He goes, "Whoa, whoa, who did that coin? That that man. That coin works wonders. There's an autopilot. I don't know. You the one that you told me to flip the coin in, and it said that. Did, did you not check for autopilot last time? No, that would have saved us a lot last time, right? I wasn't there. Oh, yes. No, sorry. <laughs> but if I, if I had been there, let me ask Clark. Oh, it appears we were on a shuttle last time and didn't take this ship to the surface. No, you're taking the shuttle back. So you're so like this, the bad ship is like docking on the outside of town and you're taking the shuttle into town. So, it's the same so there's an autopilot that does have the shuttle in there. It's just the jet. Uh, doesn't know how to man ships or shuttles. Did not check for and autopilot. did not check for autopilot. Yeah, um, I love how you look on your sheet. You're like, did I? <laughs> Does it say? Do I have an autopilot? And, and we, yes, I'm trying to make Where? sure. And as it turns out, yeah, nothing on here. About surprising yeah. that non-pilot has no yeah. piloting skills. Quaro yeah. is going to reach over and with one of my arms, I'm going to spear Dill's shopping list. Yeah, and say, um, Dill, I have good news and bad news. Okay, give me the give me the bad news first. All right. It turns out rocks are inedible to your species. Okay. I finished analyzing your blood. You didn't have to give me quite so much, but I appreciate it. I gave it. you a <laughs> lot. I'm real woozy <laughs> here. <laughs> but I learned many things, such as I do not have your species in my databanks at all. Oh, wow. I don't know what you are. I'm, oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a jet set radio. No. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to write that down. That's no. the species now. <laughs> I'm just sad. No, I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a note of that. Um, <laughs> the good news is your blood is a very, very good conductor. Oh, no. oh, I love the symphony. What kind of music we got going? I bet there's just great stuff going on inside my body right now. That's oh. what the rocks are for, I think. There are so many good things going on inside your body. All right. Well, let's get some more rocks in there so they don't stop. Mm, the rocks, I'm afraid, will hurt you. And while I hate to take away something you love. What rocks, that's what he's talking about. I know sometimes you're a little slow here. <laughs> <laughs> I would like the audience to know that he was pointing at Jet. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh. <laughs> uh, I think Jet's gonna kill Dill now. <laughs> right. That's uh, the end oh, of the deal. What? <laughs> My very simple prescription <laughs> is that any of your friends offer you any other kind of food. What do you mean other kind of? I thought it was just rocks, and that was it. Yeah. This is this was my guess. Have none of you tried giving him any other kinds of food? Is he's there any food on the ship? Tried. Yeah, he's actually eaten he, a few different things, and he just he likes he pickles. Fuses. He goes back to rocks every he's, time. Yeah, just right back to rocks. He had a do bunch we, of metal sometimes. Do right we recently? have one of these pickles nearby? I I leave and go to the cafeteria. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do go to the cafeteria. There is. Uh, some drawers for some reason you didn't check yet. Uh, there's just an outrageous amount of of pickles. That, that's why he's had pickles before. There's Get the beans. sandwich slices. <laughs> yeah, all the... all different cuts, all different flavors, all yeah. But I do bring <gasps> back the butter. sandwich sliced. Yeah. yeah. Uh,
Mm. Green. Ooh, green rocks. Green rocks. Green edible rocks. I hold okay. them up. They're literally the best kind. Oh, hold on. I, I open the jar, then yeah, I hold yeah, them back yeah. up. Uh, he, despite having four arms, does just reach his face in and slurps it up like he was uh, sucking up a hot dog hole. Oh, oh if you're doing that, you can just drink drink it. Drink everything in the box. Don't don't eat this. I want this back. But I know it. a few people that could do that back home. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so he he's he's just like drinking and just like whole swallowing pickle spears. I look at Soraya. <laughs> like I said, I know quite a few people yeah, he that goes, can do this that back actually, home. This, this is pretty good here. Have you tried chewing one? Well, I, they, I thought there were rocks, and the rocks are what's are making softer. my teeth hurt. These are different types of rocks. These are pickle so you rocks. You can chew these. And we get like that, like, you guys remember from like Ren and Stimpy, like the weird close ups they would do? Like, it's like that really where he's like, he, yeah, he's like face. trying to like slowly bite into a pickle and spear. And his teeth shatter. <laughs> 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 oh, you fool. There was one actual rock in there. <laughs> the one that's left and yeah. just cracks and falls. But yeah, he, he, he bites into it. He goes, that's suspicious. This doesn't. That when you ate food, it was supposed to hurt. That's how you know it's working. No, but do you not feel the puckering of your mouth? I do. I do feel a bit of a pucker. You feel the sourness on your taste buds. Mm-hmm. I do. I do. You. The way you're saying that's making me both uncomfortable but also satisfied. Is this <laughs> not pain? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it is a little bit of pain. Yes. But... Problem solved. Mystery. Concluded. So, so I've just been eating green rocks. I, sh- I should have been eating green rocks. Yes. Mm-hmm. The whole time. Oh, wow. Or at least more of them. You know what I mean? I mean, shit, this guy's, he's got my vote for team captain. <laughs> he can worry about his heart disease. Yeah, I just wanted him to have something that wasn't a rock. I don't I don't care what he eats now. He's like 800 years so old. So you're, I don't you're not getting, heart. so, we're, so we're, we're just switching to green rocks. We're just switching to green rocks. But only the ones that we give you or in, in these jars yeah. full okay. of juice. Gotta uh, be in these jars. Wait, hold up. Mm-hmm. What was on your list? What was on the list? Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, carefully unfurling 15 entries that say rocks. Yeah. Oh, that's, I like that's... that I didn't say it at all and Caleb 100% yeah, 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 knew. Yeah, 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 that's very funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, rock. I guess, well, I guess, yeah, rocks I guess. In different fonts. Yeah, I guess uh, I got all the rocks I need here. They're just green. So y'all get what you need, and then we're going to go. Does anyone else notice, though, that dude that you hit, He's he's his breathing's real shallow. He's still alive. He'll be fine. He's just going to take a nap while we're gone. All he's, right. He's I, saving I his energy. I don't have to give him any of my green rocks, do I? No. Nope, those no. are all those yours. Those are your green rocks. Maybe some of your blood if you got a little bit don't, don't, I got don't, a couple. Don't, he, no, no, he, no, he, no, no, no. He has, he has a couple more vials of blood <laughs> don't, already. Don't no. dump your blood in his mouth. Put those yes. back. Okay. Yes. And, and, okay, and he starts drinking. Oh, no, no. oh well, well, you're not. Oh. <laughs> That was he put it back. Yeah. Get him out. You can't get mad enough for that. You put it. It's like red liquid rocks. You're right. I should know words mean things. Yes. Words mean things. Let me say. No. You should not be drinking your own blood. Oh no. <laughs> should I be? Who's blood should I be drinking? No one. No. I, do not ingest. Well, I don't. You said you didn't know what he was. I mean, maybe he can ingest blood. We don't. We I'm, don't a, know. I'm a. I'm a jet set. Radio. Oh, uh, uh, hold on. And I look at. <laughs> I open up a fake book. To. Yep. Jet set. Radio no, cannot we, we drink do blood. We need to clear that up. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, beforehand. Yes, that is. <laughs> Uh, not everyone gets to be just at radio. I don't want to, you know. Uh, folks I have a brand. It's uh, it's it's you know. Yes, the integrity say, of it does matter. Yeah, See, the problem is, is that you trademark Jet Set Radio and not all the other iterations. Yeah. so they're all free. You have the inflection trademark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, Just wait for Jet Set Radio. Jet yeah. <laughs> Set Radio is also. <laughs> Airplane engine TV? Yes. Jet set radio. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the ship is ready. It's been the, the, the shuttle's ready. The autopilot's uh, engaged. Yes. All right, you, you guys uh, want to go down to the. D- yeah. Yes. Get that Let's fuel. Go. We'll go see we the big tree. The I'm going to give him a big hug. We're, we're not Pulls going to the tree. Compact. I thought you said that was all gone. That wasn't me. I took my own special case. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, Breaks just uh, nice. Breaks did this thing that addicts are good at, uh, which is all of it. Wait, what? I said Breaks did this great thing addicts are good at, which is just doing all of it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He couldn't see for a while, though. So it made it harder to do that he knocks just, them there's off. There's just like a whole pile on the floor, isn't there? I mean, who knows? He's, 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 he's sleeping. It's fine. We he's, have a Roomba. Yeah. Blind for 10 minutes is wild. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That is, that is insane. I mean, it was, it was pocket bleach, so, I mean, that is. Never trust a bunny with bleach. <laughs> so, essentially, I'm just blind for a couple seconds. I mean, I, I feel, I, in comparison. Well, I don't know how bleach hits everybody, you know? I do. <laughs> Listen, I'm no, I'm not the doctor on this show. So you talk to the eight-legged spider robot. I got, I got a good guess. You see, a, <laughs> you see, a, hey, y'all tweet at us. How does bleach hit you? Don't do it. Let us, yeah. let us know in the comments. Uh, we're not responsible for any bleach you do, but we do want to know about it. Yeah, <laughs> some people have bleach that makes them real creative. Other people have bleach. They yeah. start to get paranoid. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Every t- Some bleach. people bleach doesn't work for. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. I snort all the bleach and nothing happens. <laughs> Again, do not snort bleach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, do not. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, no matter how fun we make it Thanks our sponsor, Clorox. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Color safe. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to the folks at Tide. Yeah. Really appreciate that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, y'all, y'all get, y'all get on the shuttle. Sam knows I want to make a joke, but I can't say I'm recording. <laughs>While the shuttle's handing down planet side, how about you talk to me, the announcer? That's right, everybody. I'm here to sell you more stuff. And that's why we're on an ad break. And today, I'm asking you a question. Are you hungry? Do you need a little more rock in your diet? Well, let me tell you about rocks. You can eat them. They're great. We might have done an ad for rocks before. I don't remember because I kept doing bleach last episode and I keep chewing on these rocks. But don't worry if you're getting tired of your original rocks. We now got green rocks. That's right, everybody. They're soaked in this weird vinegar stuff. So if you eat normal rocks first, your mouth starts to bleed and then it burns from the vinegar. That's how you know the green rocks are working. So whatever you're doing right now, stop it and go eat a rock because rocks are delicious. Green, gray, Brown, black, no matter the rock you find, put it in your mouth and give some chews on it. And if it doesn't break, well, that just means you gotta bite down harder. So, I'm gonna go chow down on some rocks and I'm gonna let y'all get back to the action as the crew heads down to Herbs. Y'all get on the shuttle and make your way down to the, uh, to the, to the city of Twilight Peak. It is, it is gorgeous. It's very beautiful. Very tall skyscrapers. Architecture is just immaculate. Everything, everything looks great. It always, and it's definitely, it's an artificial thing, but, uh, especially because this planet is so rich, it always feels like you're in golden hour. That is because there is like a dome around the planet to make it look like everywhere is in golden hour, even though, you know, the, the stars of the system just, oh, like we're in inside a shell. Like we had to go through like yeah, yeah. There, there's like a weird shell, uh, but you can it, it it works well. It doesn't, you know. There's still like its own. That's how it gets away with a lot of the fact that a lot of the uh, you know the, the trees and 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 the floor and fauna and whatnot have all always been decimated. Uh, but there's like an artificial atmosphere and like oxygen and stuff in that. So, is yeah. this planet like really far out from the sun? Is that why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it is really far out. But also, you know they. They just used up all the natural resources like immediately. But you know, rich people live here, so they don't actually have to worry about any of their decisions or problems that they did. <laughs> yeah. I guess you can get wildlife flown in and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. you can get a lot of stuff flown in from the poor planets. Yeah. And there's also uh not not that you see there's everywhere not in just like all the cities have a lot of poor people, but we don't see them because that's gross. Oh, are they underneath? Yeah, yeah, they're working and doing all the non the non good jobs. Is this like that casino planet from Star Wars episode? Yeah, yeah, it's it's yes. similar to that. Yes. It's similar to that okay, where yes, yeah. where rich people get whatever they want Amazing. and poor people do all the work. I don't know where I got the idea from though. It's a new one. Yes. No, no one has ever done that. Yes. Never yeah. happened before. Never. Wait, wasn't that Elysium was? It's weird that a lot of sci-fi is like that. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, I, and, and our real world doesn't have any resemblance. Nothing. No, but yeah. no yeah. parallels at all. None. Because yes. here when Everybody you do- Everybody has yeah. jobs that pay equal mm-hmm. amounts yeah. and everyone's mm-hmm. able to live mm-hmm. comfortably within their Get as their much means. bleach as you want in the real world. All right, all right. <laughs> no one's- covered in debt all right when, yeah when i do bleach i just always say embarrassing stuff so I, <laughs> I try not to i did yeah. i tend to do it at home by myself like yeah, that one. yeah. So i'm ruined for two three days i have to make a bunch yeah. of phone calls after the bleach <laughs> <laughs>
I just keep yeah, talking about my ex it. when I do bleach. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. I keep talking about your yeah. ex when I do bleach. Yeah. Yeah. So I get a little bleach in me. I send some yeah. texts. I will. I will. I will. I'm, I'm getting, getting texts from Derek at 3 a.m. like, my guy's, my guy's yeah. doing bleach again. Oh, he's off the bleach. Oh, no. Just, that's all I want now is a 3 a.m. Derek bleach yeah. text. Yeah. <laughs> 3 a.m. Derek bleach text. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, Did you, you know that? On your first birthday, it's actually your second birthday. <laughs> okay, oh, so that's one I'm, Cor- I'm Korean, like and that. we do celebrate that. <laughs> yes, you got the hundred day celebration. You are you are already a few months old when you're born. Like it's a thing. You get a text like that from me at two a.m. Oh yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> assume, assume the bleach got me. Yeah, <laughs> the, the bleach is in me. Yes. <laughs> Does he have, you know, a really clean throat? Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the clean, That's important. Yes. Uh, the cleanest yes. throat in Atlanta. Yes. Uh, That's what you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Terrible. Don't drink bleach, everyone. Yes, yeah, but, but guys, do not. You know? No matter you. how fun we make it sound. Yeah. It's not fun. Even it, if it looks delicious. I know. Yeah. I see it. Even yeah. if it says, yay, bleach on the bottle. <laughs> That's just that's I for put us. bleach brand says you ate bleach in yeah. the bottle. That's the ones that I made the bottles I make at home, so I don't feel <laughs> bad. Joel uh, eat yeah. Joel's breakfast. So anyways, uh y'all talk about bleach for thirty minutes on the drive <laughs> down, <laughs> on the fight. Oh, Soraya <laughs> absolutely is. Yeah. She did at least two She's lines. Bleached so out. She's bleached yeah. like Sometimes that is that is canonical. That is canonical fish. in this universe though that Wait, people what? love doing bleach. Did you say spaghetti tastes better with fish? Yeah. Random. I'm pairing fish with red wine, baby. <laughs> I'm bleach. And red sauce. Yeah. That is, uh, we all knew it going into this plan, but bleach is the hot drug right now. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. No one knows how Barry got hold of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, yeah, yeah. So y'all y'all do, Doc, uh, your shuttle, you're able to get in. Soraya. Yeah. Uh, who, who's who's somebody that you, you knew from your past that you definitely were hoping you didn't see uh, as once you landed? So we're probably, if that's the case, if it's somebody I did not want to see, it would be Carrie, my ex. She's a doctor. <gasps> Not the best of terms. <gasps> so y'all, 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 <laughs> y'all land. She's what? <laughs> a doctor. Y'all, y'all land, and uh, there is like since y'all came from out of planet, there is wanted to do like a quick little check. Uh, it is the future, so you know they can do quick scans for physicals and things like that. But one of the people there that uh, is on the the, the resident doctor. Uh, checking y'all is Carrie uh, and she's like you know just doing the little like you know scan on people's foreheads being like okay yeah you're good up up and up you got space measles you gotta go quarantine they scan Quaru uh, oh my god and just go up oh, yep definitely just a robot so you're fine yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a little freak robot but that's uh, we can't discriminate against that there are laws sadly there are laws mm-hmm. and there's a lot of freak robots yeah here. there are a lot of weird freak- I'm not afraid to call on the laws I, I'm saying you can go on in I scanned you all right, but if somebody wanted to apologize to me with a little vial of blood, mm. I would <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't. Give There's it. also laws against giving blood to people randomly. Mm, I've never seen those. Yeah. You're really pick and choosy on your laws. <laughs> <laughs> well, who among us? <laughs> toodaloo. Uh, yeah, keep keep it going with the legs. Okay, and then... Uh, <laughs> who among us, toodaloo? <laughs> she goes, she, she, scan, she scans Barry and she goes... I don't have any records of... I'm real. I wasn't asking that. I was just going to say if you're... But now I'm kind of questioning, but I guess your vitals, as far as we can tell, are fine? I'm not imaginary. It's... I'm, and then she like looks her. She looks at like a nurse. I love Barry just yeah. consistently fighting for his existence. I like yeah. Well, she just looks at the nurse next to her and goes, "Wait, so you can't see them? Okay, so I I thought I could see them. I didn't think they were imaginary, but now okay. I can no. hear you too. I, yeah, I was just double checking. Okay. okay, yeah, you're good. I just okay, bye. you you gave me more I questions than away. I had. Oh, all right. And then she looks up and goes to scan, and it goes, hmm. Wow, I thought. Carrie, you're good just to see you. just you're just back in just back in the sector. I not really even a, don't you, not, want to fight. You know? Oh, you don't want to fight. You don't want to fight. Do you know why? I'm working the check-in. Okay. No, Do you know why us. I'm working the check-in? Why are you working the check-in? Why are you working because the check-in? Because she, 
she she stole my credentials. <gasps> she she went I in. I stole your credentials. She she went mm, in. An admittance. Mm, okay. She she went in. She <laughs> used my credentials. She got prescription drugs for her and her little friends. She was just running around town, just throwing it out to everybody. Who gave uh, it to me, Carrie? She Who said, "Please pick me up some bleach." Who said it? We're dying to know. Who said it? Who said it, Carrie? Yeah, this is, this is this. I feel like this is very important. Because we're forgetting the most important part of this entire situation is the fact that you sent me on the run. And then when you got caught with your codes taking from the stash, listen, you I'm, then blamed me and threw me under the bus the, when it was your idea in the first place. Let's not lie now. I feel like I liked it better whenever I had the other upper hand yeah, here. Yeah, uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> Who among us? Toodaloo. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Your friends over here just crawling around the wall saying toodaloo here. This is unsettling. Fine. He's still getting used to it. You've got gray mold on the ceiling. I, just it's a not, couple steps away from black. Be careful. It's not my job. Okay, I'm just... It's all okay, well, what are you what are you doing back here? I thought I thought you weren't coming back. I need a few things first. Uh, trust me, the last place I wanted to show up was. What's was, up with your eyes? Don't worry about that. What? Actually, I lied. Let's worry about that. So there's this tree, right? And the tree is phenomenal. And the tree is Fan- not good. Fantastic tree. It's a, you got oh, both of you got the weird. Tree. Hey, the tree, I, the tree's real bad. I'm the telling you, the tree is honestly the, the tree is where it's at. It's life changing. I've. It's, it's so you're honest. sleeping with a tree now? Don't, don't, no, no. Don't what let happens, her take you to the tree. What happens is you let the tree into your soul through So you let, eye a, tre- you're let a tree in and not me. I well, thought you, you said you just weren't. Well, you damn claws, Carrie. Maybe I thought you could you, figure it out. I thought you said you weren't available in that kind of way. Like I said, I wasn't available to having my insides turned into space stir fry. I've lowered myself by a metal wire. Like <laughs> down <laughs> <through>. <laughs> Upside down spider mode saying, ooh, that line is long. <laughs> yeah, there's such a hold up. She, she's bad at her job. No one else is working. Everyone's just watching this now. Yeah. It's like 12 a.m. at Walmart, and there's a line going all the way back to electronics and one person at the register. Mm-hmm. And everyone stops to watch the fight. <laughs> okay, so there's this great tree. So you, what, you're coming in town f- to meet the tree? or no, we got to get back to the tree and also bring as many people who also want to experience. Don't, don't experience the tree. The Grain tree. of salt. The tree the, is. The tree, it's more like a possession. We, we gotta, actually got to fix that. It is like being possessed by millions of orgasms at once coming in waves. It's. She has not made that sound once. That sounds better than bleach. Actually, yeah. I'm going to go on ahead and say it's absolutely better than bleach. <sighs> I don't why do we come to drug? My friend out? here would absolutely agree. Doc, I recommend the tree. I de- yeah. definitely recommend the tree. Don't okay. go to the tree. Don't do the tree. It's bad. Hey. Just saying. If uh, you do the tree, just make sure you do it while I can watch the process. Mm-hmm. Do you see how excited he is? Do you want to do anything that makes him that excited? I mean, you, <laughs> if you want to watch, I mean, you got you got pay. The tree doesn't take money. I taught you well. The tree doesn't yeah. let you do anything with money. <laughs> I mean, I guess, okay, listen, I, I'm supposed to scan you to get in. You okay, I've been scanned, I'm fine. I haven't, no, I'm supposed to do it. You scanned me. I didn't do it. What, what's taking you so long? The, the entire time I've been telling you about the tree, you could have scanned me and my friend. Well, I was. Efficiency, Carrie, we talked about this. Damn. See, that's why you're at the checkout station. I'm <laughs> writing prescriptions for people in line. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she she, she holds up to, to scan <laughs> you, and you? then uh, like she's like, okay, you can go, wait. That's yeah, see, not, I told you, I told you the tree's bad. Yeah, that's not great there. I told you. Why does anyone listen to me? I'm real, right? I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to flag you for okay, quarantine. I think no, here. I'm actually okay. Thank you. Uh, give me a sway check. I'll give you an extra die on it. The way you're talking down to her is doing it for her. She's not mentally in a good place. That's a two. Okay, maybe I could use subterfuge. I may expend my special armor to resist a consequence of persuasion or suspicion. When I resist with insight. Yeah, yeah, normally that, that's when you're on the mission, but I will say we could do it to where for the rest of this one, you wouldn't be able to use special armor. This is up to you, but 
technically, expelling special armor, it doesn't have to be like actual physical armor. It's just a game mechanic. It would be funny if you just popped a titty out, though. And that's <laughs> how, how you're getting out of this. <laughs> Let down your armor. Let down Pop your armor. Both of them and be like, we don't have time for this. And she goes, actually, I can take her Let's to quarantine. Go. I can take her to quarantine just myself. We I really think that would be best. Yeah. You no. Know? And she's, and she's, she's like, she's like, she's like, she like puts her tools down. She's like, I, just me and you, we can go knock out quarantine real quick. Let my friend through. Yeah, of course. And, everyone, and everyone go through there. Every time Soraya leaves off with a person. I'll yeah. So Soraya, Soraya, Soraya and Carrie pop off. Let's just make a note to return here once we have the. Key. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll bring Carrie. And then she lets she lets Jet go through uh, as well as like the nurse is just like overwhelmed trying to figure out how to like use the equipment, scanning people. A few minutes later, Sarai and Carrie come back out. There's small little vines uh, at the base of of Carrie's eyes. You told me you would let me see the change. <laughs> I don't think you want to see that. Yeah. This is quite disappointing. Well, good thing is we are still here on Earth, so it ain't the first and it damn sure ain't going to be the last. Let's go! They're going to affect everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then she, she as y'all are leaving. Share the tree of knowledge! She does, she is like, she's like, that tree though, sounds pretty good. Like, Tell I mean, you. I've been trying to get off of bleach. I think the tree's the way. I'm sure nothing wrong's gonna happen with Carrie, especially now that she's got some tree in her from Soraya. And I'm sure this whole planet isn't on the verge of death because the tree's gonna get spread around at a rapid rate. But if you wanna know what's gonna happen, I'll let you hear a little small bit of episode 19, Corlong. I need some fuel for a ship. Yes, we've covered that. Uh, but I need it to be more than 1% of the current fuel I have. I need this, this, whatever this is, whatever this amount is. Oh, a core long. Yes. A core long of fuel. Let me get two of those. It just wasn't as good as last air blong. Two yes. core yeah, yeah, I didn't like it more than You, you need three if you want to get from 25 to 100. Three. I, three core longs. Core longs yes. is, and, and that is 75% of the fuel, then? That could possibly be. <laughs> if you have a four core long ship, then of course it is. I don't know if we do. SS Batship is an actual play podcast produced by the Do You Validate Network using the Scum and Villainy system. Barry the Muscle is played by April Raygun. Clark the Mechanic is played by Caleb Zane Hewitt. Jet Set Radio the Scoundrel is played by Derek Marshall. Soraya the Speaker is played by Sam Starr. The show is GM'd and edited by Joel Ruiz. Opening track created by Matt Penchney, with additional music by People Need Goals, Pop No Tarts, Sarashu, and Zach Nichols. And let's not forget to thank our two executive producers, Andrew Harper and Brian G, as well as our two associate producers, Beerus and Luke Holt. And we just want to give an extra special shout out to Neil. Thank you so much, Neil, for being an eternal baddie. It is amazing that you gave us this support, and it's amazing that you're sticking with us. And I just also want to say, Neil, I hope that you have sat at a good table recently, whether it be the perfect height, maybe it just had no wobble to it, or you have friends around it. I don't know what it makes the table perfect for you, but I hope you found it. And I hope your chair was nice. Not necessarily perfect, because I want that for the table, but not the chair. And if it was also perfect, that's great, Neil, but I'm only wishing for a few things that would be perfect for you because I have expectations. That's right, everybody. I don't want to oversell what we're promising here, but I will promise you if you, I will promise you if you become a Do You Validate Patreon, you will have no problems. That's right. I guarantee it. And you can take that to the bank, but don't do it. Give us the money, not to their bank, to our bank. I had a little bit of a stroke there. So I'm going to say thank you to Neil once more. I'm going to tell all of you to go to patreon.com slash do validate and help us make the astonishing adventures of the SS Bad Ship and help Neil find the perfect table. I'll see you all next week as I am going to use my table to do drugs off of because as you know, me, the announcer, love drugs. This is a Do You Validate podcast.